today we're looking at the art by Paul Klee. We're going to compare abstract versus realistic art. This is a screenshot of an episode where Paul Klee is actually in Art with Maddie and Dada. Now here's a few facts about Paul Klee. He was born in 1879 in Switzerland. He was 60 years old when he died of scleroderma, a rare bone disease. His father was a music teacher. His mother was an artist. And Paul Klee was a musician, writer, and teacher. He uses line, shape, and color in his paintings. He realized that a painting did not have to look like a realistic copy of something to make a good artwork. His type of art is known as abstract art. Here we can see a realistic photo of rose petals. And then here is an abstract version as well. Here's another example of comparing abstract art to realistic art. The one on the left you can see is abstract because it's created by grouping shapes together. The one on the right is a realistic picture of a mountain. Here are two abstract paintings by Paul Klee. The one on the left is called Red Balloon. The one on the right is called Cat and Bird. This is the artwork that we're looking at for our art project today. This is called Castle and Sun by Paul Klee. I want you to look at this painting and see if you can find five different shapes. You might have to pause and look carefully to see if you can find five of them. Did you find five shapes? If you didn't, here's a clue. I see a circle, a triangle, a diamond, a rectangle, and I even see a trapezoid in there. We are going to be drawing two different castles today. One of them is going to be the beginner level where you are mainly focused on learning how to draw shapes and putting them together to make a completed artwork. The second one that we're drawing is going to be a little bit more complex. We're going to add a few more details like flags and more shapes and lines and that one's going to be a lot of fun too. We're starting with our beginner level castle. We are going to be using a permanent marker, so make sure you have that handy. Now we're gonna start with a rectangle shape. We're gonna start with a straight line. We go horizontal, and then we go back down to the bottom of our paper. Inside our rectangle, we're going to draw an oval. On top of our rectangle, we're going to draw a triangle. Now we're going to go on to our next rectangle. This time we're going to make it shorter than our first one. So we're going to start a horizontal line about right here. Then we're going to do a vertical line going back down to the bottom of our paper. Inside this rectangle, we're going to do another rectangle going up, across, and down. Now we're going to draw a triangle on top of this rectangle. Next, we're going to draw a building that is taller than this one. So this is also going to be a rectangle. I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to go up, over, and down. This time inside this rectangle, we're going to draw horizontal lines. Now at the top, we're going to draw our triangle again. 
Now we have some nice space right here to make more of a square shape. We're gonna go across and down. Now I'm going to do a half circle or a semi-circle right here. And then I'm going to draw two circles above it. Now we're going to draw a triangle. Next, we're going to draw the moon or a sun right here using a circle. Next, it's time to add some fun colors to your castle. Now we're going to do the more advanced version of the castle. We're going to start in the center doing a castle line. So we're going to go up, we're doing a vertical line first, then we're going to do another vertical line over here. So we have room on each side. Now connecting these two together, we're going to do a castle line. That's what I call it. So you go across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, and connect it. Then I like to add some extra details to this. So I'm going to add a flag on each one of these. So with a line and a little triangle. Next, we're going to do a semicircle inside of your big building. Just like that. Now, let's add horizontal lines going across. Now we're gonna start adding our taller parts. Over here, let's split this area down the middle. We're gonna draw a straight line. Now to connect this over here, let's draw a line going to the side of our paper. Now over here, I want you to do a curved line like that. On the top of this rectangle, we're going to draw a triangle. And the same on this one. You see how this curved line makes this building look round? And this one looks more rectangular. Now let's add some extra shapes. In this one, we're going to add a big oval. In this one, we're going to add a rectangular door with a doorknob and then two square windows. Now, I also want you to add some extra details on the roofs. This one, I want you to do curved lines like this. and then you can add a flag at the top if you want to. On this one, I want you to do straight lines across, a straight line down the middle, 
and then a straight line on these two sides. And you can also add a flag. Now we're going to draw one more building on this side. I'm going to make it a little taller. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line right there. I'm gonna go across to the side of my paper. Now I'm gonna add the triangle. It looks like I'm not gonna have enough room for a flag on top of this one. Now let's add our details here. We're going to do a big door, a circle window, and a rectangular window. Now it's time to add some extra details. A vertical line and a horizontal line. Then a vertical line and a horizontal line. Inside this roof, I want you to add a scalloped line. So it looks like roof tiles. Now all that we need is a moon or a sun above our castle. Now it's time to paint.